A commonly asked question when it comes to consumables for PowerMax Air Plasma systems is, when is it time to change them? While some consumables, like the electrode and nozzle, display more visible wear, other consumables, such as a swirl ring, may not be so obvious. In fact, we have had customers who didn't know you had to replace the swirl ring. So in this video segment, we'll cover what to look for to know when it is time to replace the swirl ring. The main function of the swirl ring is to control the swirling action of the plasma gas flow around the electrode. It does this to center the arc on the electrode and through the nozzle, and constrict the arc for faster cut speeds and thicker cut capability. The swirl ring has small angled holes, and on certain versions, an O-ring seal. They are typically made of plastic. Some of the common swirl rings are shown here. Some processes require the use of a specially designed swirl ring to achieve the desired application outcome. The quality of the cut is highly dependent on this flow pattern. During electrode and nozzle changes, you should inspect the swirl ring for damage, such as cracks, deformations, and clogged holes. Replacement is needed if any of these issues are found. Standard use indicates swirl rings should at least last through 15 electrode and nozzle changeouts, but this can differ depending on usage patterns. When assembling consumables onto a torch, it is important that the swirl ring is positioned correctly. We recommend referencing the consumable label on the power supply or the operator manual to ensure you have positioned the parts correctly in the consumable stackup. To learn more about PowerMax consumable information, please go to hypertherm.com using this URL address. Thank you for watching.